My name is Akeem Freeman, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm 16, a junior in high school at Binghamton. My name is Chinoa Haley, and we are here at the Robinson Museum in Binghamton, New York, doing the Citizen News Science Fair. I got involved in Citizen U because I was introduced by a friend of mine who also goes to the high school. And all she told me is that we helped him better our community. When I went there, I then learned that we do different things in science and math. It started with some friends. They invited me over to talk about this with Citizen U. It was an internship, and I got interested because I liked what they were doing here. I stuck with the program for so long because I like the opportunities that it brought about, and I, I just like what they were doing. So when they told me I was coming to Roberson, I automatically like, assumed that I was gonna be working in the planetarium because I like astronomy. I got interested in astronomy seven years ago. It was with my fifth grade teacher. She actually bought me a telescope. I brought it home and my mom's like, what do you have in this big blue bag? What's in it? And I tell her it's a telescope. She says, I know I didn't give you money to buy it. So I told her my, my teacher actually bought it for me. I set up the first night. I don't remember seeing anything the first night. <laughs> I was kind of confused on how to set it up. And after a few tries, I think I got it to work pretty fine. And from there, everything was fine. I loved astronomy ever since that day. I was exposed in a program when I was in the fourth grade called Girls in Engineering and they basically taught us all about the different engineering and different fields and we did projects and worked in teams and it really helped me to realize that this is something that I wanted to do the rest of my life. I actually want to be an aerospace engineer but I want to get my BS in electrical engineering. So I plan to pursue that as a master degree. I feel that the best way to be able to communicate with everybody around the world and to really make a difference is through engineering and science and math and that the more that we expand on it, the better off our society will be. And that's what inspires me to pursue a degree in engineering. I love just knowing things out of this planet stars, constellations, DSOs, distant space objects. When I look at the stars, it makes me become curious as to what other planets could be evolving around this star. Is the distant stars as big as this star that we have here next to our planet? Those are things I wonder about. I think one of the biggest challenges for me is staying focused in Binghamton, where I live. There's a lot of like gangs, friends, things like that. So staying focused when I have to, like in school, and all the week is when I have to study, that, that's one of the biggest challenges. Right now, I am under income in my household, and I really don't know how I'm going to pay for college or anything else throughout my life. So I really hope that I'm able to get scholarships or just find a way to pay for my education. And then uh, racially, people tend to stereotype and think that just because you're a certain race, we're all the same, but it's not true. And that's kind of what I want to do too with my life, make sure that people know that everybody's an individual, not based on their race or their culture. I feel that there may be people who will think that I'm not capable, but what's really important is that I prove that I am, that I can work just as hard as anybody else and be just as good as them. Um, I don't really worry about what other people think about my ability. I mean, I don't think they should worry, I mean, because it's something like I love to do. I feel that family is your support system, and when everyone else can be against you, your family will still be there. So family is very important to my future. Family, family really motivates me. I know like there's not a lot of people in my family who has been to college or has like succeeded in what they really wanted to do. So that inspires me. They just want me to be happy and succeed 
they just have my back in anything I want to do. In five years, I hope to be working on my master's in aerospace engineering and hopefully to have a career. I think that with power and financial means, you can do a lot of good in the world, and that's why it's important for me to have a powerful and high-paying job in the future. What I really want is my degree in physics. It, it sets my life up. It, it starts my future. I think it is important to have a high-paying job, especially for me in my future. Be one of the first, besides like my stepmother, to do what they really want to do in life. I think that any science teacher, if you want students to be interested, you have to make it hands-on and fun. I would say to the young people that I work with today to keep them interested in science, that science is fun and there's so many possibilities within the realm of science that you could do that there's something for everybody to enjoy. You have to love it. It's something that you have to love to do every day. It just goes from there. That's what happened to me, at least. It's basically just helping you to be the best full-rounded person you can be going on to college or higher education.